The Zach's rank, value, momentum, growth and income all factor into Zach's rank buys. You can quench your thirst with the products that they make and in their stock, you can get some growth and income. Todd Bunton, our growth and income strategist, is going to actually talk about a company, a beverage maker, that has it all for you, it seems, right, Todd? Dr. Yeah. Pepper Snapple. That's right. DPS is the ticker symbol. Uh, in addition to their famous Dr. Pepper and Snapple brands, they actually have a lot of non-cola non uh, carbonated beverages and, and non-carbonated beverages. Mm -hmm. uh, brands like 7-Up, A&W, Sunkist. They right. have Hawaiian Punch. Uh, Schwet, Schweeps, uh, Squirt, and Sunkist, Schweps. Okay. <laughs> See, I don't. Yeah, I don't drink uh, ginger ale much. But uh, uh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. Clamato. Clamato. They have. Yeah. yeah. So uh, actually, uh, six of the top ten non-cola soft drink brands are owned by Dr. Pepper Snapple Group. Wow. So yeah, and and in the industry, you know, uh, companies like Coca-Cola, Pepsi, and and Dr. Pepper to some extent are facing headwinds from, you know, a shift away from carbonated beverages, especially right. in the diet space. Everybody's but saying that they're no good for it. Exactly. You. Yeah. So blah blah right. going on. <laughs> right. Yeah, Warren Buffett says, you know, he he drinks up to 6 cherry cokes a day and, you know, he's what 83, and he's, 84 right. years there old. You go. So, Rest so my it, case. it's worked for him. <laughs> um, but yeah, so w one of the ways they've been able to offset those headwinds, like I said, is they have a lot of non-carbonated beverages too. But also they implemented recently uh, what they call a, rap a rapid continuous improvement strategy okay. to, uh, to cut costs, to improve efficiency, and that's led to margin expansion and solid earnings growth. And mm -hmm. that was on display in the second quarter. The company actually delivered a solid earnings beat on July 23rd. Uh, they saw their operating margins expand. Earnings per share were up 7% year over year on an adjusted basis, and that was that was driven uh, by just one and a half percent sales growth. So, so you know, sales are in increasing, but you know, very low single-digit growth there. Like I said, most of the earnings growth is coming from margin expansion through their RCI rapid continuous improvement strategy, mm -hmm. and also lower commodity costs. So that that's been a nice tailwind for for uh, this beverage maker um, over the last couple quarters too. And management increased its full year earnings guidance after the beat, which prompted analysts to revise their estimates higher for both this year and next year. That sent it to a Zach's rank of two, which is a buy rating. You can see the agreement and magnitude of consensus estimates all moving in the right direction uh, post post earnings. And we love to see that type of earnings momentum uh, you know, from from companies. That's why it has that high Zach's rank. And based on, on those current consensus estimates, analysts are expecting about 8% earnings growth this year, 8% growth next year. So decent, so, you know, solid high single digit earnings growth. Yeah. In addition to that, they pay dividend that yields 2.4%. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. And, and they've increased that at a 14% compound annual growth rate over the last five years. Mm -hmm. So the company generates solid uh, free cash flow. They've been increasing their dividends, also buying back a lot of stock, which will help drive EPS growth too. Sure. Uh, and I brought with me uh, kind of a peer comparison to Coca-Cola, Pepsi, uh, also, also Monster Beverage. You can see uh, Dr. Pepper has that nice blend of solid earnings momentum, uh, good good yield, and all at a reasonable price. They trade about 19 times forward earnings. That is in line with with Coke and Pepsi, a little bit below uh, below them, and that that multiples expanded greatly over the last uh, about 12 to 18 months. I don't expect further multiple expansion, but you can still get solid total returns from this name, especially with that positive earnings momentum. So it could be a nice stable pick in sort of a tur turbulent market. Okay, let's not forget they make that tea in the bottle too. That's right, Snapple. That's <laughs> yeah, that's a huge growth driver for them. Do you own them? I do not. All right, check out more stock picks, stock picking strategies, stock commentary. All on our website, zax.com. Link to it all off the home page. And you know, you don't uh, have to stay at zax.com to watch these videos, although we'd appreciate it, but uh, you can watch them in syndication as well, especially on YouTube. And if you are watching them from YouTube, don't forget that you can subscribe to them there and comment on them. Just a, something that you might want to consider. With Todd, I'm Terry Ruffalo.